mankind has been waiting for a sign of life from space for countless generations. In the course of some unmanned space projects, the responsible organizations have not missed the opportunity to immortalize certain messages on the spacecrafts in order to deliver a proof of our existence to extraterrestrial observers. As is known, the Pioneer plaques, the Voyager Golden Records, and also the so-called Arecibo message have been submitted for cosmic reaction. If one follows the remarks of the researcher Terry Rudolph, then the messages which prove the existence of aliens are hidden directly under our noses, and in fact, in the stars. We'll now share with you this controversial theory and how the rest of the expert world is searching for extraterrestrial life. Don't want to miss one of our videos on the topic of outer space ever again? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on. With a thumbs up, you motivate us and show that we can inform and engage you with the content of our videos. The message in the stars. Up to 400 billion stars. That's how many of the dazzlingly bright celestial bodies make a home out of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. In view of this sheer mass of stars and the resulting potentially habitable worlds, a central question suggests itself. Why have we not received any sign of life from an alien species to this day? Quantum physicist Terry Rudolph who works at Imperial College London, is pursuing a completely new approach in this galactic search for clues. What if the evidence for the existence of extraterrestrial life forms were hidden in the stars themselves? This heatedly discussed and groundbreaking thesis is based on the idea that the extraterrestrials use completely different means of communication than we would have expected so far. The problem? The messages left by aliens in the starry sky cannot be distinguished by us from conventional heat radiation. At least that's Terry Rudolph's theory. Basically, the galactic inhabitants are supposed to use a certain principle of communication. According to this, they would be able to leave messages by entangling photons and stars and changing in this way the light which is radiated by the celestial bodies. The recipient of this cosmic message could consequently recognize and decode it by observing a second star. Since such communication channels can be disclosed only with difficulty, it would be practically a kind of secret message transmission. As already alluded to, this form of extraterrestrial quantum internet is based on the quantum mechanical principle of entanglement. In simple terms, it's a physical system within which the subsystems occupy several of their possible states simultaneously, each of these states being directly associated with a different state of the remaining subsystems. What sounds quite complicated at first becomes a bit more understandable when we look at the effects of entanglement in detail. Albert Einstein once coined the term spooky action at a distance. Behind this term is hidden the influence of one particle on another, independent of location. In other words, this means that a change in one particle automatically affects its partner, even if the two particles are separated by miles. This effect of quantum entanglement would allow the aliens in reverse to transmit encrypted signals to certain galactic nodes. In theory, this network could even be a gigantic communication system that spans virtually the entire universe. But even if alien species had managed to adopt this conceivably sophisticated way of message transmission, humans would not be able to decode the corresponding messages. To unravel the cryptic signatures in the night sky, we simply lack the necessary technology. Any attempt to observe the quantum particles from the outside would alter their state and thus destroy the information they carry. The Fermi Paradox once we accept the idea that extraterrestrial intelligences exist, the question arises, why is there no trace of them? These two circumstances, difficult to reconcile, are the subject of the so-called Fermi paradox, the thought process of the Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, which came to the public in the year 1950, can be summarized as follows. The widespread belief is that countless technologically advanced species exist in our universe. However, the observations we have made so far, which lack any evidence for the existence of such civilizations, suggest the exact opposite. This apparent paradox finally led Fermi to the assumption that either our understanding concerning our galactic fellow inhabitants or our observational approaches are incomplete or faulty. 
But why are so many people actually convinced that the Earth is not the only celestial body in the universe that harbors living beings? It's simply the sheer mass of galaxies and celestial bodies in the universe that leads us to this basic cosmic assumption. So far, more than 4,000 exoplanets have been detected, including many Earth-like, rocky planets. However, excursions into other galaxies are not necessarily required in order to pursue the galactic search for clues. In our solar system, too, there are some celestial bodies on which water could be present in a permanently liquid form. And, according to our understanding, this is generally considered to be one of the basic prerequisites for the emergence of life, especially the icy moons in the outermost regions of the solar system, such as Jupiter's satellite Europa, are promising candidates when it comes to the question of the existence of a subterranean ocean. According to the Drake Equation, which addresses the question of how many technologically advanced species might exist in the Milky Way, the probability of humanity being the sole representative of advanced life is extremely low. Search for signs of life However, no uniform definition exists in the ranks of researchers for what intelligent life actually is. In the broad sense, it means the expression of human-like cognitive and or mental efficiency. Even if many experts consider it probable that extraterrestrial intelligences exist, the experts assume that these occur very rarely in the universe. In addition, most scientists assume that enormous distances gape between us and the other highly developed civilizations. Based on this assumption, two approaches to contacting extraterrestrial communities seem particularly promising. In addition to communication by radio waves, which in principle can also take place over long distances, direct contact with unmanned probes or even manned spaceships is also a possibility. However, if the corresponding extraterrestrial beings are located further than 80 light years away from our blue home planet, communication via radio waves will most likely not be possible. The transit times that such an exchange of messages requires are simply too long for our human existence. The hope blooms, therefore, in an intergenerational exchange with our extraterrestrial contemporaries. By the widespread use of radio waves, radar systems, TV signals, and comparable sources, Mankind has already been producing an artificial electromagnetic signature for quite some time, which can be detected at a distance of 500 light years. However, one theory is based on the assumption that intelligent extraterrestrial civilizations have only a limited window of time to detect the signals we send out. According to this, the constant further development of these species would lead to the fact that they would soon use other, far more advanced technologies as for example, the quantum communication described at the beginning by means of a spooky long distance effect. From a purely mathematical point of view, the probability that we will one day successfully establish contact with extraterrestrial life forms with the help of radio waves is extremely low. The cosmic stroke of luck in which our radio waves perfectly match the appropriate evolutionary stage of extraterrestrial civilization is simply very unlikely. Potential Dangers Listening to the urgent warnings of some renowned experts, including Stephen Hawking, it is not advisable to make contact with extraterrestrial civilizations anyway. According to them, the danger that such a scenario could bring to our home planet and its inhabitants is simply impossible to estimate. Thus, it's conceivable that the extraterrestrials are not at all interested in a peaceful coexistence, but regard the Earth only as a potential source of resources, a place to be conquered. As an example for such a case, Hawking mentioned the discovery of America. Instead of enjoying the cultural diversity of the indigenous population and beginning the era of a new community, the European colonialists preferred to plunder Native Americans mercilessly. A direct galactic war with extraterrestrial life forms is not the only risk that could threaten us in the course of a successful contact. Unintentional contamination by extraterrestrial life forms, which could occur, for example, in the context of an actually peaceful exploration mission to Earth, could lead to drastic consequences. Of course, these urgent warnings did not stop the space agencies from sending several messages into the vastness of the universe, which should provide the galactic recipients with a detailed picture of the Earth and its inhabitants. The so-called pioneer plaques are to be mentioned here above all, which provide among other things the picture of a man and a woman. The Arecibo message, a message in the form of a cryptically packed radio wave signal, belongs to the most famous contact attempts between mankind and extraterrestrial intelligences. 
and the data disks provided with picture and audio information, which were attached once to the space probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, pursued this purpose as well. Now it's up to you. What are your thoughts on today's video? Do you think it's conceivable that the extraterrestrial intelligences use those means of communication that Terry Rudolph introduced to the field? Give us your opinion, your suggestions, and your feedback to our contribution in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting videos that we've linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.